Today, learn how to do rolling end credits in Premiere Pro CC 2018. All right, so first thing you'll want to do is make sure your Essential Graphics panel is open. You can do that one of two ways. You can go to Window and make sure Essential Graphics is selected, or just change the workspace to Graphics. Technically, this is a graphics type application, so you're working with titles. So, you know, I'll, I'll just have this selected, that's fine. Now go to, make sure your type tool is selected and click anywhere on the frame. Now what you want to do next is go to your word processing software, uh, I like to use Word, and take your end credits, Control A, Copy, or Command A of course on a Mac, go back to here, Command V, or Control V, and there you go. Right, select everything, Control A or Command A, center justify it. Okay, now we can kind of center this right up here. Now what I do is I like to use uh, the safety margins whenever I'm using text or graphics just to make sure, you know, I'm hyper aware now of uh, how far I can go on the screen before it's getting too close. Okay, now let's move this to where we want it to be. So click off of it, so now you deselected it. Click on it one more time on the timeline. And now in the central graphics panel, there's the option to have it roll. Click that, and it's all set. It is now a rolling credit. You have it, oh, by default, start off screen and end off screen are selected. So when it starts, there you go. And it goes all the way to the end until it's totally gone. Now, <laughs> the title is a little bit uh, picky with control A and command V and all those other stuff. So make sure that's not in there. And, um, and at this point now you can, uh, first off what I do is I will, that, that's too fast. And the way you control the speed of this is by adjusting the duration of the clip. Because this duration right now, let's hover over for one second. All right, it's seven seconds and 29 frames long. So it has, let's call it eight seconds to go from right here all the way to finishing getting off screen. So if it takes instead of eight seconds, if it takes, let's say 14 seconds, it's going to take a long amount of time to do that. Okay, I like that, that's a good speed. Um, obviously adjust it to your preference. Now you can click on it and start making changes to the formatting. So let's see my uh, blockbuster film here. I might want it to be the title a little bit larger. So let's go to 50. And, you know, I decided I don't want just one space. I want a couple before it starts. You can play with it as you'd like. Hope you're enjoying the names on here. I am available as a casting director if anybody needs me. Um, and that's really, I mean, then yeah, just play with your um, formatting until you, you like it. Now, of course, I am adding more spaces here uh, so that all this is longer, right? So all that right there, um, it's, I basically stretched out how, how much text there is. So as a result, it may, it might go faster because you still have the same length of time to get through all of that. So let's watch it again. I see now it's a little bit fast. Let me stretch this out a little bit more. Okay, I like that. All right, and that's really it. Uh, you don't have to really worry about fading in or fading out unless you want to. Um, so yeah, now it looks like this. Now, of course, it's a black background to this simply because there's nothing underneath it. So if you want to put another layer of video underneath, let's just say, I don't know, for giggles here. Now, see how difficult that is to read. Now, you are able to, of course, change the properties of the text as you would a normal text item. So just go ahead and click on there. Let's say, so we want to change that to red, maybe bold, maybe instead of 50, let's say 70. There you go. Now, of course, that's terribly difficult to read still, so you might want to play with the font, font size maybe, uh, maybe change the opacity. I'm, kind of, I'm just kind of playing around here now, but uh, just kind of give an idea. But yeah, that is how you do it. So hopefully you found that helpful. If you did, make sure you subscribe. I'm putting out new content uh, much more regularly now. I know I've been uh, off for a while, any of you subscribers or people who've been following me, but uh, putting out a lot more tutorials. I've got a lot of stuff planned. Uh, it is going to be awesome, so make sure you uh, smash that subscribe button. And uh, if you like this, make sure to like it. If you didn't, don't. <laughs> All right, good luck with your project, and enjoy the rest of your day. See you guys next time.